Hi everyone, so exercise 2b on your starting with confidence booklet um, simplifying fractions and solving for x so in the video before we were talking about putting fractions together uh, and making sure they had a, a common denominator okay now we could do that here so we could quickly do that um, in this example here we could put every single term under the same denominator so 2 is the same as like 2 over 1 and 4x is the same as 4x over 1, right? So if you could write it as a fraction, you can really see kind of what's going on. Um, just bear that fact in mind. That can be quite useful when working with fractions. So if you did a half plus 3, just remember 3 is the same as 3 over 1. And that way you can look at it uh, a bit easier. Now, as they're all over 1 then, we need them 3 already is is has got one on the bottom isn't it three times one is three so the only thing that needs changing is this needs to have a denominator of three and so does this so if i times the top by three i need to times the bottom by three remember that's the same as timesing it by one top by three bottom by three but this one already has a three top by three bottom by three there we go so this gives me six over three minus x take one over three equals 3 times 4x, so that's 12 over, 12x twelve over 3. So they've all got a common denominator, which means I can put this together. So 6 take, and this is important, I've put brackets here on purpose, because so many people make the mistake of not recognizing that it's 6 take away everything. Okay? Lots of people just put, oh, 6 minus x plus 1, uh, 6 minus x minus 1, sorry, and it's 6 minus everything, so that minus and the minus affects both numbers. So that's 6 take away x minus minus 1, so that's plus 1 over 3 is 12x over 3. <coughs> okay, and therefore we get 7 minus x on the top is 3 is 12x over 3. Now, if you've got like a over b is the same as c over b, if the denominators are the same, and they're equal to each other, then the tops must be the same. Do you see? A half equals a half, right? Uh, the denominators are the same, the tops must be the same as well if they're equal to each other. So here, A must equal C, right? So therefore the top here, 7 minus X, must be 12X. Because the denominators are the same, and they equal each other. So if I put all the X's onto one side, so that's 13X is 7. And then divide by 13, we get 7 over 13. Okay? So I could do it that way. I could make all the denominators the same. And then compare. And I think it's good practice for you to do that. So why don't we try that again with part B. So BP, um, BP, oh, don't want to talk about them. Uh, I guess you're too young to remember the um, oil spillage. Like, I'm, I'm never going to stop going on about that. <laughs> It's really bad. And all they said was sorry. And we're still buying it. Can you believe it? All right. Anyway, <laughs> denominator is here. So this is 2 over 1, isn't it? OK? So just like before, we're trying to solve for x. And we need the denominators to be the same. Uh, there's no common multiple. This one has a 2. This one doesn't. So let's start with that. So x take 1 over 2 plus 2 times 2x. And if I do it to the top, I've got to do it to the bottom. This one doesn't have a 2 either, so 2, 2, 1, 2, right? Okay, this one has a 3, this one doesn't, and neither does this one. So we'll do the same thing, 3 on the bottom, 3 on the top. 3 is already here, so we don't need to touch that one. 3 on the bottom and the top. So there we go. So, simplifying, we get 3x take 1 over 6 plus 4x over 6 is 2 times 2 times 3 is 12 over 6. So they've all got the common denominator. So remember that fact, a over b equals c over b, therefore a must equal c. Okay? So I can put these together now because they're under the same denominator. Again, obviously I'm, I'm making every step like really explicit, but the more confident you get, you can just it kind of flows like music. Uh, so 3 times x, 3 times minus 1, so 3 minus 3 plus 4x over 6 is 12 over 6. 
and put it together, 7x take 3 over 6 is 12 over 6. So now the denominators are the same, so that means that the tops must be the same as well. Just clean that up. 7x take 3 over 6 is 12 over 6. So therefore, 7x take 3 must be 12. Okay? Bring all the x's over to one side, which they are, all the numbers over to the other, 15. So x must be 15 over 7. And this can be checked. If you whack x equals 15 over 7 in there, it should equal 2. All right? So that's that one. Let's now look at part C. So part C looks a lot more complicated, doesn't it? Uh, you've got negative powers in there and all this kind of thing. So let's have a go at that. Anytime I'm going too fast, obviously just stop the video and, and backtrack. Uh, I love when people say it goes without saying and then they say it anyway. That's just a tool to, um, to trick us. Okay, 2x to the minus a half. What does that mean? Well, let's get that in fractional form. We know that a minus in the power means 1 over. Yeah? And the half means square root. So 2 over square root x. Minus 3 root x plus 2 over 4x. 1 over root x. Okay. So it looks like these two denominators are the same already. This one isn't. Just remember that x, remember what I was talking about in the previous video about, you know, that uh, 1 over 3 plus 2 over 6 or, or like or 4 or 5 over 6 or something like that. It was tempting to times everything by 6, but actually 6 is made up of 2 times 3. It's the same here. x is the same as square root of x times the square root of x, isn't it? You see, I could make this way more complicated by leaving it as x and therefore time, you know, going, oh, this one doesn't have an x, this one doesn't have an x, and start times it all. But actually, you can see now very clearly that this one needs a 4 root x, doesn't it, to be the same as this one. So 4 root x, all times by 2. This one's all good. This one needs a 4 root x, so 4 root x, 4 root x. If you do it to the top, You've got to do it to the bottom. And now the denominators are the same. So I can put it all together. Yeah? So 4 root x times root x is 4x, obviously. 4 times 2 is 8 root x. And here, remember, it's minus everything. Big brackets around here. Okay? So that's minus 3 root x minus 2. Watch out for that. Equals 4 root x here over 4x. Denominators are the same, which means the tops are the same. Remember that? So keep referring to that bit there. So <laughs> we can say that 5 root x, because 8 root x take away 3 root x take away 2, is the same as 4 root x. Bring all the root x's over to one side. So if I move that over there and move that over there, so we get root x, because 5 root x take away 4 root x is root x, and plus 2 both sides, that's 2. We want x equals, so we need to do the opposite of square rooting it, and we need to square it, so x is 4. Okay, end of video.